Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Tech Sandagong. One more Tesla software update is upon us, and this is 2021.24.4. We're going to go through all of the release notes. We're going to see what are the features in this new software update, and we're going to do the customary Tesla autopilot run as well. Let's do this. Okay, in this, let's go to the release notes. First up is the car wash mode. Now, car wash mode closes all the windows locks the charge port and disables the windshield wipers sentry mode walk away door locks and parking sensor chimes for automatic car washes with conveyor belts the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevents the parking brake from automatically applying if you leave to access the car wash mode you need to go into controls service and car wash mode let's see that okay controls service and car wash mode oh nice okay so it, it has the same blurb it says car wash mode will exit if the vehicle speed exceeds 15 kilometers an hour and let's click on that to enter car wash mode let's not do that now pretty good now let's see what's the next one the next one is uh, mirror auto dim so you can now enable or disable automatically dimming of your mirrors to access you need to click on controls mirror and mirror auto dim so let's do that control mirrors and then now you can click on mirror auto dim i already have it enabled you can now individually choose and disable them for uh, each side and that's pretty good okie dokie the next one is uh, there are some dash cam improvements now you can automatically save clips whenever your car detects the occurrence of a safety event such as an accident or airbag deployment. Recordings are captured and are stored locally and never transferred to Tesla. To opt in, tap controls, safety and security, dash cam auto. So you click that, go into safety and security and then dash cam and right now I'm keeping it auto save up to 10 minutes of video. Uh, to your USB automatically when your car detects the occurrence of a safety event such as an accident or an airbag deployment uh, uh, So manual is you have to click on that um, Button to save it in automatic mode. It will automatically get saved. I'm going to accept that. It's a very good handy dandy feature So I'm going to keep that very good the next one is um, The uh, range improvement now you can switch between the battery percentage and distance units by tapping on the range you can just click on that and that will change the um yeah there it changes from 47 percent and then click on it again it's 250 that's pretty good now remain connected to wi-fi in drive to remain connected to the wi-fi when shifting to drive click on the gear tap on wi-fi icon and settings and remain connected in drive this is especially uh useful for users who wish to use their hotspots for connectivity that's pretty good too um so all you have to do is uh put the car into drive and then click on Wi-Fi settings. Click on my Wi-Fi and remain connected in drive. So you can click that. And this is my, my home Wi-Fi. So I'm not going to use that for this. So I'm going to take that off. And of course, there is new language support um, here as well. And you know uh, how to go and change that. I showed it in the previous video as well. Go into controls, display, and then choose the uh, appropriate language. All right, guys, now let's do the customary Tesla autopilot challenge. It is exactly the same route as my previous autopilot challenges. So please do watch them. If there's been any internal differences between the two, let's do this. First, let's plot the route. Navigate to Shell Harbor City Center. Turning on autopilot now. Okay, as with my previous videos, uh, I'm not a right lane hugging hoon. I've always told you from my previous videos as well. I really like to drive on the right side uh, in this road because there is slight incline as well. You can see there's a slight incline in the road and there are twists and turns. And uh, in previous autopilot runs, the car tends to go to the right of the road like so over here. Uh, I'm just trying to see if that has been fixed. If anybody wants to overtake me on the left, by all means they can. You see, this is the, the incline and the bend. And you can see the car is slightly veering towards the, the right of the road. Uh, it's fine by us uh, because we are sort of uh, driving on autopilot. But I'm worried uh, for the people who are coming on the opposite side 
uh, they must not get intimidated uh, sorry intimidated that uh, we are trying to uh, drive like a nasty hoon so this is something that Tesla has to fix you can see that it's sort of veering to the left and right it slightly is unnerving for people following us and for people on the opposite side okay, there is a car uh, in front of us so we are the follow car and uh, like Elon has said in many uh, tweets in the past uh, following is easy uh, it's only when we are the first car of the lot that it gets a little difficult uh, but now we are following so we are all good now because it changes from 60 to 80 just hold down the right side stock and it automatically changes there and the car picks up speed and follows uh, the car in front uh, keeping within the 80 kilometers now there so far so good in a few of the autopilot runs of last year there has been phantom braking events in the um, uh, overbridge that comes up ahead uh, but uh, for the last few autopilot uh, software updates it has been pretty good so not much uh, to talk about but just beyond the bridge the road does a little uh, something funny uh, it goes from uh, being a two-way road to a single rain, lane road and then it goes to the exit as well so uh, that is always interesting how the car behaves in that spot it comes right about now you see it's still a two-way two-lane road with a double median line and then it becomes a single lane road which is the exit onto the princess highway well that was pretty smooth usually it just takes a sharp turn into the exit but uh not right now it, it did a very smooth um merge into the exit here it's very good of course i want to change lanes over here let's do that and people who have been watching my tesla autopilot runs do know that up ahead there is the albion park uh, traffic signal where the car always thinks that the traffic signal to the right is for itself although we are going straight on this road let's see if that has been fixed i thought it was fixed in the previous run uh, it did work fine for a couple of times but uh, a few other times uh, when the traffic light was not on is when it decided to sort of break uh, in that uh, junction i'll show it to you um, when we come there just up ahead i believe and um, one more thing before we go on to the autopilot uh, run uh, i need to give uh, a bit of thanks and congratulations to everybody in uh, new south wales for doing the right thing i am in the healthcare industry uh, so i am traveling to work uh, although there's a little bit of risk attached to it i have never underestimated the uh, freedom that it gives that i'm able to get out of the house so many of you are still cooped inside the house uh, but you're doing the right thing thank you thank you very very much now here this is the spot we were talking about uh, we wanted to recognize a 70 and go down to 70 but it does not go down to 70 you see so i'm going to manually bring that down to 70 because by uh, law here in australia as well as in new south wales we have to be at this uh, speed when you reach that that uh, traffic signal there you go you said that momentarily it did flash there you go it's, it's thinking about slowing down and it okay i did not press on the uh, on the accelerator it thought about slowing down for a few seconds then it went past okay that's not bad it's definitely an improvement from before because previously it uh, comes to a halt it you saw that momentary red line you can always rewind and uh, see that again um that momentary red line that came uh, i suppose this was a, uh, a, a stop signal over here uh, some time ago and that map detail has not been updated i suppose i have sent uh, bug reports on this spot many times uh, in the past as well but that has not been fixed yet but this is much better it's much better i suppose the ai has figured it out that uh, it is not a stop signal but i'll report back in the next autopilot run if that this is a persisting problem or if this is a one-off uh, you know good turn not bad at all let's try and change lanes to to give a little bit more for the autopilot to do because uh, if there's a follow car there you go so we are not the follow car we're the first car so i had to press on the accelerator for it to go past that uh, traffic signal although the traffic signal was green and it was for us it was in our favor but even so we had to press on the accelerator over there of course you can also press the right side stop as well 
So this is always a worry. You see these guys are very close to the line there. Nice, nice. Okay, one more time. I'm just pressing the right stop this time to go past this green light because we are the first car. Again, pressing the right stop down to go past this green light as well. I might just go off to the left lane so that I don't antagonize the person who's behind me. Oh, I'm so sorry guys, unfortunately uh, one of my cameras uh, lost its battery so there's been some error of sorts I'm hoping that the video did get saved but this has been a reasonably good autopilot run I must say um, we have not had any interventions um, it's pretty good the vehicle was a bit close Because we've been using autopilot for a fair while now we know that the car does uh, keep you safe so it's not bad at all okay this one is a bug so that is a yellow flashing light and it thinks that that uh, is a warning signal for itself and uh, decides to come to a, uh, a, a fair halt there uh, I hope they fix that someday. Nothing exciting is happening in front guys, so please uh, I apologize for the uh, camera failing. It's been pretty good till now. And this is the navigator on autopilot and the indicator will automatically turn on and take this exit. There you go. Oh, this is a much more human-like uh, merge onto the exit there. It's pretty good. And up ahead, there are the traffic signals, like in our previous video. We're going to check one more time if that left turn is uh, not a coincidence in the previous autopilot run. Um, so I'm going to disable autopilot here. Take this exit. Okay, and then re-enable autopilot. There you go. So I have the yellow line and red, red sorry, yellow light and red light. So it comes to a halt. Now, there are line markings you see the car can recognize this so in the previous videos i've not been able to explain this these are new uh, traffic lights but even so because of the uh, recognition the traffic light recognition you can recognize the lights you can see these um uh, you know stop sign over here right right over there you can see a stop sign there and this exit line is recognized so in all likelihood the car should take this it will give me a warning but i'm going to urge the car to go forward and i'm sure that this will take this exit uh, nothing exciting is happening in front. I'll see if I can turn on the uh, camera briefly. Uh, but if not, I'm just going to... Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, let's see. Maybe it will... Uh, no, no battery. Anyway, so just keep a watch out for this. I am going to urge the car to go forward when the traffic light turns green. You can see the traffic light turning green there. Yep, yeah, there you go. I'm urging the car to go forward. Yes, yeah, okay. So this is pretty good. It slows down a little bit. I'm just going to urge it to go a little further, a little faster to not to antagonize people behind me. But yep, that left turn is consistent. So that is three autopilot uh, updates in a row that this left turn has been negotiated without a problem. Of course, up ahead is a roundabout and the car does not do roundabouts. I'm going to disable that. Um, so that is the short autopilot run and all the features in the new software update uh, 24.4. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and also click on that uh, bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop and do subscribe to my channel as well. It, this, these videos do take a bit of time to do. So um, your subscription really, really matters to me. I think I'm nearing 7,000 subscribers and I'm really, really happy. Uh, and I'm thankful to every single one of you who has subscribed to my videos. Um, thank you guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Uh, now, if you are in the lookout for a Tesla of your own, an S3X or a Y, kindly consider using my referral code. Um, details of them are there in the description of this video as well as um, on my website. Uh, many people have used my uh, code and I'm really thankful that you guys have used it. Uh, many, many thanks guys. I'll see you guys in another interesting video. 
very soon. Until then, this is National Tesla in the Gong, signing off. Peace.